firefighters in New Brunswick are still battling flames at a tire recycling facility in Minto, and that's about 45 minutes outside of Fredericton. Now that fire began late month, Friday night, rather, and heavy smoke and flames continue to rise from the shredded tires. New Brunswick's Emergency Measures Organization says the fire is under control and there are no evacuations in the area. Officials are laying sand on the site to prevent any spread. Well, for more on this, we're now reaching out to Jeffrey Downey by phone. He is with the New Brunswick Emergency Measures Organization, and he joins us now in Minto, New Brunswick. So, Jeffrey, thank you for joining the program once again. Uh, as we say, you're on location in Minto. In fact, I hear you're about 200 meters away from the fire. So can you tell us what's happening around you right now? Uh, right now, they've shifted a bit in the strategy. Uh, there are slightly fewer firefighters around, but there's lots of uh, truckers bringing in sand. Um, what they're trying to do is um, essentially bury the uh, bury the the tires, uh, robbing them of the oxygen, so snuffing out the fire. Is that uh, known to be an effective way of fighting this type of fire? Do you know? Yes. Uh, we're, we've adopted the strategy based on uh, advice from a number of other jurisdictions that have experience uh, with this kind of thing. Um, you know, and, and so on top of, uh, you know, addressing the fire issue itself, uh, the sand will also reduce, reduce the amount of water used in fighting the fire, thus minimizing future environmental impacts. Mm -hmm. Now, my understanding, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Jeffrey, uh, we're talking about uh, an, an area that encompasses about two hectares of land. Uh, how much sand is actually going to be needed if that's now the tactic being used to combat the flames? Uh, we're not sure. Um, <laughs> this isn't something uh, we've tried before. Um, so w what we do know is this. We're not worried about a shortage of sand. Uh, we know we can bring in enough to address the situation. Where is it being brought from? Uh, it's being brought from uh, local nearby quarries. Okay, so local quarries being brought by truck. Uh, how are people holding up right now? Because uh, we were talking about firefighters yesterday. We continue to talk about firefighters, but now, as you say, a number of truck drivers involved in this effort. So how are people holding up? Uh, as well as might be expected. Uh, <laughs> there's no good time of year uh, for something like this to happen. Uh, but the Christmas season uh, does compound it a little bit. Um, but by and large, uh, you know, the firefighters are, are getting uh, the rest they need. Um, the mayor's, uh, the Minto, mayor of Minto has been in touch, obviously, with um, her, uh, the residents in the area, uh, as has uh, the MLA, Chris Austin. Um, they haven't reported any uh, great concerns on behalf of residents. No great concerns, but any other general advice you are giving to local residents right now? Well, we're still recommending people shelter in place. Uh, there's no evacuation orders. Uh, that could always change. Uh, but right now, uh, sheltering in place is the best option. We're asking people to turn off air exchangers, uh, keep their windows closed, uh, and keep an eye out for the plume. Uh, you know, always stay aware which way the smoke's heading. Um, you know, and we expect you use people to use common sense. We'd ask them to try and avoid the, you know, the, the roads with uh, all the trucks and bringing the sand in because they're going to be very busy. Um, and, you know, again, now isn't, you know, maybe the time to go for a run if there's, uh, you know, a huge smoke plume over your house. 